Good morning. Welcome to a new creek on this hazy day. The sun is basically right in the middle of the frame here, but it is a hazy day from wildfires somewhere. I don't even know where they are. I would say in the area, but they might be hundreds of miles away. I don't know. This creek is pretty small and brushy here, but it does open up just beyond where you can see right here, beyond this, this big tree. There are some beaver ponds and just some wider, more open sections. So that's where I'm gonna start fishing. There are lots of mosquitoes out this morning. I already have one bite on my left eyebrow, which is a little bit annoying, but hopefully we can fight through the mosquitoes and, uh, and catch a bunch of fish in here today. I, I think there are cutthroat in here, but I'm not positive. I don't know, I've never fished this creek before. I passed by this creek last year and I made a mental note to fish it at some point in the future. Today is that day. Let's get going. Now I think, yeah, you can see this little open area. There's kind of, I don't even think that's a beaver pond. It looks like just a little natural dam. Doesn't look to be made by beavers, but I'm not entirely sure. This is in kind of central Idaho. I'm a couple hours from home. If I ever don't say in a video either what I'm using, like the rod, the line, the fly, if I don't say that, or if I don't say where I'm fishing, that's always listed in the video description. I don't give specifics about where I fish, like I don't name the creeks, but it will give you a general idea if I don't mention that stuff. Okay, like I said, this is a completely new stream to me. I did see fish in it last year when I drove past. I, I got out and and checked to see if there were fish, and I did see them, but that was several miles upstream, actually. I've never scoped out this section except on Google Maps. First few casts. No interest. Looks like we've got I can see three more dams up ahead of me here, and these actually do look like beaver dams. It'll be interesting to fish those. No luck in this first stretch. Whoa. Just fell into a hole up to my knee. Oh, got a fish. Oh, got it off. Or it came off. Well, while I was distracted showing you the deep hole I stepped into, I hooked into a fish right in the far left side there the overhanging grass. Couldn't tell what it was. Didn't get a good look at it, but it was probably seven inches long. Well, we're 0 for 1 here. Let's see if we can land one, if we can bring it home in this little miniature beaver pond here. And you can see the full length of it. It's 20 feet long, maybe 8 or 10 feet wide. That was a fish. I don't know if you saw that. Definitely saw a fish break the surface there. Let's start fishing close to me here and then we'll work back deeper into the pool as necessary. But there's obviously something in there. Oh, yep. I'm sure it's spooking every other fish in the district. Come on. Okay. Well, that's a rainbow trout. Uh, I was not expecting that. I thought there were cutthroat in here. Maybe there still are. But nothing wrong with a rainbow. It's a good, ooh, eight or nine inches long. Seven, yeah, maybe eight and a half. Its gill plate on this side is kind of messed up, kind of exposing the gills there. Still a pretty fish. That didn't take too long, maybe eight or 10 minutes of fishing. See you, buddy. Let's see if we can catch another fish in here. Again, I'm, I'm expecting that we spooked whatever else was in here, but you never know. Casts are free, doesn't hurt to try. I caught that fish from basically the middle of the section closer to me. So maybe if you go, if I go farther back, the fish won't be quite as 
unsettled. Got one. Oh, that was a very light take. Looks like another rainbow. Yep. And the fly just came out. Perfect. So we'll give you a quick look at him. Nice leopard spots kind of on this one. This one's a little bit bigger, full nine inches. Let him go. Well, that was kind of unexpected. Came from right in the middle. Right in the middle of kind of the, the narrow waist section of this pool. I really do love fishing new creeks. It's always exciting to see what kinds of fish you catch. First cast in this new pond. Whoa, and I fall into the muck as I hook into a fish. Awesome. <laughs> I love catching fish. Isn't it great? I'll put a picture of the fly that I'm using here on the screen. It's tied with orange thread, kind of a light gray stiff hackle, and a gray black yarn. And of course, I'll put links to those things, or to the yarn at least, in the video description. About a seven incher, six or seven incher. Cast number one was successful. Cast number two, looks like not so much, but that's kind of to be expected. I just shattered the stillness of their world here. There we go. Saw a fish rise over there a second ago. Oh, he's caught up, caught up in some trees here, some bushes. Come on. <laughs> that was not graceful. That is a brook trout. Nice. Not uncommon to find brook trout in beaver ponds in these parts. Kind of a pale brook trout. Not the most colorful I've seen. Maybe six inches long. Again, with the kind of weird exposed gills. Huh. See ya. Let's now cast to the, ooh. Don't know if you saw that. The fish definitely jumped out of the water a couple inches but it was at the far back end. Let's see if we can catch one kind of in the middle ground here before heading back that far. Got one. Could be the biggest yet, or at least a contender for it. Looks like a rainbow. I am not good at netting these fish today. Okay. Well, things are going really well. This is going great. I'm loving catching all these fish. I do, by the way, always wet my hands when I touch these fish. Even if you don't see it on camera, like you, all, you don't always see me remove the hook from a fish either. But I do that and I always wet my hands before touching a fish. I mean, it's, it's gross to touch a fish without touching you, without getting your hands wet. I don't want to like touch a booger, a giant booger with dry hands. No, you want to get your hands wet first. Of course, it's better for the fish and it just doesn't feel as nasty. So I, I always, always do it. No reason not to. I'm not sure I can actually cast to the far reaches of this pond from here. Let me get up on the dam here.
I can cast, oh, there we go. First cast to the, to the far end. It's another brook trout. Oh, conveniently, the fly is out. There's the fish. See ya. Let's fish toward the edges where there's shelter in the form of the tall grass over there. Shelter for the fish. Maybe we can coax one out like that. Perfect. Right into the net. By far the biggest brook trout yet. It's a nine inch brook trout, a little bit more colorful. Still not hugely colorful in this creek, it seems. Yeah, eight inches, tad, tad bit more. Awesome, see you, buddy. Let's see, what's my plan of attack for if I hook one? That's one thing you should always keep in mind. If you do hook into a fish, how are you gonna land the thing? Like if I cast from here, I'd have to either launch the fish over the dam, which you know, I am known to do, or I need to like stumble forward and probably fall into various parts of the dam. So I think what I'm gonna do, go over to here, get to the foot of the dam over there to where I can easily cross onto the dam if I land a fish. No, when I land a fish. Gotta be optimistic, remember that. Optimism is half the battle. The other half is just putting in the time. First cast, fish on. Now, like I said, I'm gonna have to climb onto the dam here. Okay, nice brook trout. There we go. See you, buddy. Got one. Next cast. I, think, I hope I was recording for that last one. I'm not sure if I was or not. Rainbow trout. Catching lots of fish here. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I hoped it would be. I actually wasn't expecting this many beaver ponds. I glanced at this creek on the satellite view on Google Maps, of course. That's where I do a good amount of my creek sleuthing. Nice rainbow. Uh, but I didn't really notice beaver ponds. I, I thought they were just kind of wide, wider bends in the creek, but I guess I misread that or they're just new beaver ponds, which I don't really think is the case. They don't seem brand new. Got one, little guy. Came up as I was pulsing the fly. I think it's a little, yeah, it's a little, little brook trout. Oh, he's still in there. There he goes. Got one. On each cast, I'm catching a fish. This one is on the upper end of the size spectrum. It's a brook trout, looks like. Yep, definitely a brook trout. And my little dam side perch here is proving to be very productive. My legs are kind of falling asleep. Let me get <laughs> resituated here. I'm fishing, by the way, with a medium measure net. Nice brook trout. This is a medium measure net available from measurefish.com. Been able to catch a fish on every cast, I think, so far. But I think my luck is running out. Oh, every other cast. I'm good with that too. I'm okay with every other cast. And I forgot to say that these measure nets have a, have the rubber netting. And that's really the great thing about these nets. The, the nets themselves, the net bag itself, 
is fantastic. It's rubberized, so it's better for the fish. Oh my gosh, so many mosquitoes. Uh, and the, the holes are very small, very small. So even if you catch a little one or two inch fish like I do occasionally, it's not going anywhere. It's staying in the net. I don't know if you can see this cloud of mosquitoes right here. Hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of mosquitoes right here. Pray for me. Ooh, that was an aggressive strike. Oh, another one. Not connecting with it though, for whatever reason. There we go. I'll let him take it a little bit deeper that time before setting the hook. I don't know if that was the same fish. If so, it's an aggressive little sucker. Rainbow trout. Another one on the next cast. There are so many fish in here. Great fishing. Great fishing. Seems like I'm catching even numbers of brook trout and rainbows. This is an, another brook trout. I'm happy with whatever is willing to bite. Except for this stuff. Again, next cast, just unreal fishing here. Got my comfortable perch on the dam, catching another brook trout here, catching all the fish. Ah, this is lazy man's fishing at its finest. I keep casting over to here and I keep catching fish out of there. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, yep. You see that? I keep getting their attention. This fly is working well. Ooh, a little guy, like a four incher went after it there. Guess he didn't get it into his mouth, but this one did. I mean, this is just non-stop fishing. Rainbow, fat little rainbow. I mean, there are a lot of fish in here, but they're not like anorexically skinny. All right, the fish well seems to be drying up as far as places I can reach from my little comfortable perch on the beaver pond here. So I'm gonna step in a little bit more to give me some distance to cast further back and it has paid off immediately. Well, I guess not completely, but there we go. <laughs> Hopefully I can, oh, nope. Spoke too soon. There's gotta be a fish over here in this dark, there we go. I was gonna say in this dark, oh, dark overhanging section over here. Got one. Well, that's like four in a row <clears throat> that I've lost. Let's not make it five. Oh my gosh, I'm pathetic. Hello, hello little rainbow trout. Thank you for letting me land you. But I think it's time to move upstream. I could sit, ah, I could sit here all morning as I get sucked into the quicksand and slowly fish as I get swallowed up into the muck. But I'd like to keep going upstream a little bit more. It's hard though, it's hard to pass this up. This 
fast and furious fishing. Brook trout. Okay, made it to the next beaver pond up. Pretty rough casting behind me here. There are trees just directly above and behind me. So I'm gonna cast carefully here. I'm gonna start off with just some easy, <laughs> some easy bow and arrow casts. First cast into the new pond. Yields nothing. If you quickly flick the rod and the line, you can do, you can basically keep the, the fly in front of you instead of sending it behind you. So that's what I'm doing, just kind of quickly flicking it, not bringing it very far back at all. Of course, I'm sure I'll still get my fly stuck at some point, but. So prolong that at least a little bit, hopefully. Where are all the fish? Why am I not catching fish in here? I'm spoiled now. That last pool spoiled me. That last pond. This is perplexing. What is happening? It's like a faucet. Oh, there we go. It's gonna say it's like there was a fish faucet and someone just all of a sudden turned it off. There is the spot though. Sometimes in these pools you gotta search around to see where where the hole is where they're all hiding or they're all hanging out. It's a rainbow trout. And I think I just found it. Got to do some prospecting. Got one. Ooh. Whoa. This fish is going crazy. It is fighting so hard for its size. It's a rainbow trout. Wow. That actually might be the largest rainbow trout yet. Yeah, it's about 10 and a half inches, pushing 11. See ya. Got one. Another strong fighter. Very strong. I saw it come up and take the fly and then race back down again. Okay, here we go. Now this... <laughs> This is a cutthroat, or if it's a hybrid, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a rainbow cutthroat hybrid given how many rainbows are in here. But this one appears to be mostly cutthroat. It's got the slash, it's got the coloration of a cutthroat. I think these are West Slope cutthroat, where I am now. I think I'm out of Yellowstone cutthroat territory. Those are the, the cutthroat closer to home, like within an hour radius of me. Those are Yellowstone cutthroat trout. But this is a West Slope cutthroat trout, I think. If he'll sit still here, I can give you a good look at him. It doesn't have the silver or the the pink hues that the rainbows do. Definitely more of a cutthroat. Third species. That is great. Woo, that feels great. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. That is a great note to end on. That was my 21st fish. And I fished for, let me see, let me check my phone to see how long I fished for. Not very long. Yeah, an hour and 12 minutes. And I've only gone 360 feet. So a little bit more than the length of a football field, 
Lots of fish in here though. I'll have to come back to this spot in the future. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.